Hi, this is Vanessa with Asia News Weekend Program, and here's some of our news for you. Chinese President Timur Leste's Prime Minister elevate ties of bilateral relations to comprehensive strategic partnership. 9月二十三号上午。Chinese President Xi Jinping and Prime Minister Shanara Guzman of Timor Leste jointly announced the elevation of bilateral relations to a comprehensive strategic partnership. The announcement came after a meeting between the two leaders in Hangzhou, the capital city of East China's Zhejiang Province, ahead of the opening ceremony of the 19th Asian Games. She said China and Timor Leste enjoy a traditional friendship, and China is the earliest one to recognize Timor Leste independence and establish diplomatic relations with Timor Leste. She also said that bilateral relations between the two countries have stood the test of changing international circumstances and have a stronger political foundation with enriched and extended meaning. Elevating the bilateral relations to a comprehensive strategic partnership is a practical necessity for the two countries to advance their cooperation and a shared expectation of the two people. According to Xi, China will continue to act on the principle of amity, sincerity, mutual benefit, and inclusiveness, and join hands with Timor Leste on the journey of modernization in the greater interest of the people of the two countries. Stressing that firm support for each other's core interests and major concerns is an important political foundation for the continuous upgrading of bilateral relations between China and Timor Leste. She said that the two countries should continue carrying forward their fine traditions, enhance mutual support, strengthen collaboration on international affairs, and safeguard common interests of the two countries and other developing countries. She also said that the two sides should continue promoting belt and road cooperation, deepening cooperation on industrial revitalization, infrastructure development, food self-sufficiency, and livelihood improvement. China supports Timor Leste in better integrating into regional development, stands ready to enhance exchanges and cooperation with Timor Leste on platforms including the Forum of Economic and Trade Cooperation between China and Portuguese-speaking countries, and jointly build a community with a shared future for mankind. The Timor Leste Prime Minister Shannon Guzman said he still vividly remembers the scenes of his meeting with President Xi when he was paying a visit to China in 2014, and he's glad that bilateral relations have continuously achieved positive results in recent years. Shannon added, "The people of Timor Leste will always remember the Chinese people's valuable support in the country's struggle for national independence and Chinese government's timely and tremendous helps during Timor Leste's fight against COVID-19." Shanana also thanked the Chinese side for sending hospital ship Peace Ark to deliver timely medical aid to the Timor Leste people. Noting that the Belt and Road Initiative responds to the needs of many countries for infrastructure development, Guzman said his country will firmly support and actively participate into it. He also said that Timor Leste resolutely follows the One China policy, supports initiatives proposed by President Xi, such as the Global Development Initiative, the Global Security Initiative, and the Global Civilization Initiative, and other policies and advocates. Welcoming Chinese enterprises to invest in Timor Leste and help the country with its development, Guzman expressed the hope to enhance cooperation with China on infrastructure, food security, resources exploitation, and healthcare, so as to usher the bilateral ties into the new phase of the comprehensive strategic partnership. The two sides issued a joint statement on the establishment of bilateral comprehensive strategic partnership. Malaysian Prime Minister speaks out against Islamophobia Quran burning at UNGA. Malaysian Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim condemned unequivocally the Russian invasion of Ukraine during his speech at the United Nations General Assembly in New York. He also addressed discrimination against Muslims during his address. We condemned unequivocally the Russian invasion of Ukraine. This conflict, this conflict in Ukraine, for example, underscores the imperative to make peace and settle differences amicably through negotiations. Nevertheless, time is not on our side, and owing to the protracted failure to deal with the, this Russian-Ukraine crisis, I urge. For a concerted multilateral effort led by the United Nations to resolve this, we cannot choose our neighbours, but we can choose to live in peace with them.
and peace cannot happen without the cessation of hostilities by all parties. It is imperative for all parties to return to dialogue and resolve their differences through the negotiation table. The extent of the U Ukraine conflict has radiated throughout the world as food prices have skyrocketed, leading to shortages and hunger, further malnutrition and despair. Ibrahim also showed concerns over the emergency of new form of racism characterized by xenophobia, negative profiling and stereotyping of Muslims. In the Middle East, the politics of dispossession continues with a vengeance, with more illegal settlements being built, stripping Palestinians of land that rightly belongs to them. This constitutes a gross violation of international law. It also poses an insurmountable obstacle to a two-state solution, not to mention the continued killings. There is also flagrant hypocrisy in dealing with the issue of Palestine. The international community must pick up against the atrocities committed towards the Palestinians, even as they so vehemently speak out against human rights, violations, injustice and abusive regimes. The Malaysian Prime Minister concluded his speech by urging the United Nations to act together for world peace. On Afghanistan, Malaysia remains deeply concerned with the dire humanitarian situation in the country. This is especially so given that the country is grappling with its third consecutive year of drought and devastating locust infestation that severely undermined wheat harvest. He added more all countries, no matter how big or small, rich or poor, strong or weak, have a common responsibility towards creating a better world for tomorrow. Philippines condemns Chinese floating barrier in South China Sea. The Philippines accused China's Coast Guard of installing a floating barrier in a disputed area of South China Sea, saying it prevented Filipinos from entering and fishing in the area. Handout video released by the Philippine Coast Guard showed several Chinese Coast Guard vessels near the floating barriers. Manila's Coast Guard and Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources strongly condemn China's installation of the barrier in parts of the Scarborough Shoal. Commodore Jay Tariela, a Coast Guard spokesperson, posted on the X social media platform, formerly Twitter. The Chinese embassy in Manila did not immediately reply to request for comment. China claims the 90% of the South China Sea overlapping with the exclusive economic zones of Vietnam, Malaysia, Brunei, Indonesia, and the Philippines. Beijing seized the Scarborough Shoal in 2012 and forced fishermen from the Philippines to travel further for smaller catches. Kishida and Modi held bilateral talks on the sidelines of the G20 summit. Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida and Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi held bilateral talks on the sidelines of the G20 summit to strengthen bilateral ties. The two countries have been discussing deals on green hydrogen-linked carbon credits. The two-day weekend summit hosted by India is said to be dominated by the West and its allies. Chinese President Xi Jinping is skipping the meeting and sending Premier Li Xiang instead, while Russia's Vladimir Putin will also be absent, US President Joe Biden, German Chancellor Olaf Scholz, French President Emmanuel Macron, British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak, Saudi Arabia's Mohammed bin Salman and Kishida, among others, are attending the summit. Extreme plankton bloom in Thailand threatens marine life and fisheries. An unusually dense plankton bloom of the eastern coast of Thailand is creating an aquatic dead zone, threatening the livelihood of local fishermen who farm mussels in the waters. Marine scientists say some areas in the Gulf of Thailand have more than 10 times the normal amount of the plankton, turning the water a bright green and killing off marine life. This is the first that I have ever seen since I was born, which means it, plankton bloom, is very severe this year. 
At the other station, we measured the level of chlorophyll at over 500 parts per billion ppv. This is unusual as it will normally be between 50, 100 to 120 parts per billion ppv. Fisherman Suchat Buat's plot was one of those affected. He said that the bloom had caused him loses of more than 500,000 baht or 14,000 US dollar, with his peers also raking up unfathomable loses. The damage appears to be 100%. See, they just fall off when you shake it. There are no live ones left. They're all dead, including the oysters too. Normally, they will cling to the rope too. While the cause of the intense plankton bloom remains unclear, scientists believe pollution and intense heat caused by the climate change are to blame. Earlier this year, a plankton bloom caused thousands of dead fish to wash up along the stretch of beach in Thailand's southern Chumpong province, with experts blaming climate change for stimulating the natural phenomenon. Everyone now agrees that the El Niño that occurred somewhere in the distance in the Pacific Ocean now has a chain reaction on Thailand. El Niño causes drought and higher sea temperatures. El Niño is predicted to have a severe impact this year and people have been drawing conclusions that there may be links as it coincides with a significant amount of the plankton bloom. However, from a scientific perspective, we have not reached a clear conclusion. We only see that both events occurred at the same time. And that's the wholeness for today. We will see you all again sooner. Have a nice weekend.